Bitcoin SV has only one block size consensus rule. In this animation, we can see nodes rejecting blocks that exceed the block size consensus rule. This block size consensus rule is an economic limit imposed by nodes around whether they will accept a block. This allows the nodes to form a consensus around the healthy behavior limits of the network. This limit is not a hindrance to operations as it allows for many multiples of typical demand. There is no default value for this setting and the Bitcoin SV software requires the node operator to make a selection in order to be used. Since this rule is a configurable consensus rule, node operators need to find consensus on the value of this setting and configure it manually in a way that attempts to push the block size to the limit in accordance with what is known as a Stackelberg game, while being mindful of potential pitfalls such as having a block orphan. This rule defines the rate that Bitcoins are made available to the network. The reward of previously uncirculated Bitcoins to nodes, which create blocks in the early stages of the network, is called the block subsidy. The subsidy's release rate, which was codified into the first ever version of the Bitcoin client, began by issuing 5 billion Satoshis per block, beginning with the Genesis block, and drops by half every 210,000 blocks. The subsidy release rate is fixed, and nodes that attempt to make available more Bitcoins to themselves outside of the release rate are in violation of the rules which define the total amount of Bitcoins in existence, and will subsequently have their block rejected by other nodes on the network.